once the MapReduce plugin is successfully installed we have to make sure whether uh, the Hadoop remote Hadoop virtual machine is installed on the Windows machine in order to make sure that go to the browser just enter the name node location by just HTTP double slash uh, enter the IP online that is a virtual machine IP one dot one sixty eight dot seventy four dot one two eight colon five zero zero seven zero this is the port number of the name node uh, of the Hadoop just give you enter when you give enter um, this page make sure that uh, your uh, Hadoop virtual machine is installed in the is configured and then binded with that uh, Windows machine successfully and once you see this page it, it show uh, the all the details of the virtual machine first the, it uh, first it show the total capacity of that virtual machine 23 GB and the DFS means distributed file system uh, is the uh, remaining and uh, here uh, you just go to the browse the file system it will show the directory Hadoop user directory it will it show the logs these are the logs and uh, um, go to the user Hadoop user there are no such files in the uh, HDFS location this is the location of the HDFS Hadoop distributed file system in which we have we haven't placed any files so it shows empty and uh, so our next task is to upload the big data we have to upload the big data into the um, Hadoop distributed file system for that um, in the local directory you just make any folder for example I am give it as an input just make any folder and uh, uh, copy any large data large text I am uh, I'm just placing the 84 MB uh, text to file uh, data sets uh, EB data set into this folder it is copied successfully then uh, our next task to upload this uh, big data this directory to the uh, HTFS Hadoop distributor file system through by means of Eclipse plugin um, the da da big data into this Hadoop distributed file system by means of the Eclipse plugin these DFS locations just uh, in this uh, root directory just uh, click on uh, the Hadoop hyphen user just right click it you will get to see that upload directory to DFS just click it and you just uh, select a folder just now we ma made in the E location just go to the D location and the input directory this input directory and give ok so once you select the file so it is getting uploaded into the here it is getting uploaded into the Hadoop distributor file system so once you upload it just give reconnect every time you make some modifications in the Hadoop distributor file system if you want to view it just give reconnect just expand it expand the user now you can see the directory created with that big data with an 80 some 82 MB so create a map reduce project further you just go to the file new uh, in that you select the other option where you find the map reduce project option click and give next here you can give uh, the project name as anything for example like I give the name Hadoop so after that once you give this you just give the configure that Hadoop inside the Java 0. Point, I am just giving the location of Hadoop 0 0.180 location I am giving that location 
and give apply and give ok here here you have to make sure whether this this uh, directory path is given or not so once you give on this give finish so after that your uh, Hadoop project is created you have to create the MapReduce project like this instead of creating the generic Java project you just expand it and uh, right click on the source give new and select the class file here um, so before creating the project you have to find the program for the MapReduce so far that so I am going to tell how to uh, search the program for MapReduce just go to the Google and uh, search in terms of map reduce program Java when you give this keyword you can get this map reduce program in the first link itself let's go to this first link here um, in this link you will see that uh, sample program like word count here you can see the sample program this is the program here you, uh, this program is written for only uh, the single node setup just uh, it is in class file and uh, uh, instead uh, unlike the normal java program it is written with the properties of map class it is written with the help of map class and the reducer class and the main in the main function they will call the mapper class and the reducer class and after that um, actually the, for the function of the map class is to here I am taking the work on program so here it um, just it will tokenize the word and uh, sends the output to the reducer in the reducer it will um, get the input of the tokenized word and, uh, and it will sum it it will tell the total number of words counting so after that both the program will be binded and called here and uh, here contrast set input means this is the input path uh, sorry the uh, file input format here the here we mentioned the input path new path instead of here it is given as a command line interface runtime uh, we have give the input instead of we give the our Hadoop path so this is a this is a program for the single node cluster so so we have uh, our configuration is the multi node cluster setup or the pseudo distributed node setup for that here they have written for here the pseudo distributor or fully distributed Hadoop installation program is given here the same word code procedure but it have been written elaborately for pseudo distributed mode they have written some more uh, classes like uh, parsing they have do some more parsing function here in order for efficient word uh, count uh, by means uh, compared to that program this program works more efficient and this program works under only on the pseudo distributor or fully distributed Hadoop mode that is our uh, installation is a fully uh, pseudo distributed Hadoop mode so I just uh, copy or uh, this follow this link just follow this I just take this code and copy here just I am copy this and paste it uh, just give here you just note the class file name this is a word code is a class file name so create uh, that project in the class file in the name of this word code so right click new give class and give the that name so before that just first make uh, just uh, make any package for example I am giving here sample first create the package after that you create a class file here just class and give the name of the word code which is mentioned in the class file word code and give finish here uh, just copy that code and paste it here 
here you can see um, it is nothing but an error so here uh, give the correct package name so click add now after that give the name of the class file so we have given as in word count so word c is caps w is caps word count so this is the class name of the uh, we have given and after that so change the correct just copy that uh, class name and it shows an error here so just paste it wherever it shows an error and after that here just paste it wherever it shows an error so uh, now everything is clear so at last uh, the final one is we have to set the path of file input format and the file output format so so watch the path here uh, by default the path will be uh, the the command line arguments there is a or aux variable dot get of zero input here instead of that we have uh, given the manual path here uh, such as the t slash user slash hadoop user these are defaults these are the defaults and these are the path we have entered input is the folder we have created and we enter the name of the input file for example our input file name is inside the input folder our input file name is large data so we have given here we enter the correct data name like large data so once you have given that large data now the input path is set uh, uh, here is the output path uh, li likewise I am saying that a user uh, slash Hadoop user is a uh, defaults the output directory will be created dynamically by the Hadoop system and this file name also be will be uh, created dynamically so our uh, main concern is we have to set the input path by ourselves so once you have set the uh, make sure this all these things in the program uh, the correct cl class name and the correct input and output path you are ready to run this Hadoop project here we are uh, we are going to run the process here uh, we just restart or whenever you want the Hadoop appliance we just restart and, and submit uh, any sample jobs and then run the and then run the Hadoop process just right click on this uh, program just give run us on and you have to give do not give a java application you have to give run on Hadoop just click it and on window appears here choose the existing you just select the choose an existing server from the list and give it finish so once it gives is your jobs are submitted successfully here the jobs we take the big data here uh, so our process getting our map reduce process getting loaded now here you can see um, the map reduce process getting initiated here likewise uh, a, a source at zero percentage and and we have submitted the rate to mb large file instead of that uh, we can uh, give any big size of the input as an input file for example we have given 19 mb but you have given more than mbs or uh, in gb sizes or you can be able to give uh, any terabytes beta size here all the map reduce process is processed now so here uh, total number of uh, input files we have given us in, uh, and here the map map mapper process will map all the tokens and uh, the job completed and the total number of uh, words it, uh, it has been processed in the map reduce framework 
total groups and everything has been processed now and in order to view the output file we just give right click right click the vm server server just give reconnect and extract it in the user and output file uh, so we have seen this is a this is an output file you just double click it in that window you can get to see this is the output uh, processed hadoop processing map reduce process file so it will count each and every data and, it, and the counts are displayed in the right side uh, so uh, uh, the here we are simply pro uh, process the hadoop job by means of the word count program so uh, likewise you can able to upload uh, any number of gbis datas into the hadoop so by means of the hadoop parallel processing you can able to upload any kind of big data so like uh, so i am here uh, uploaded some kind of mb file so you can able to upload uh, any gbis or peta or uh, exabytes files into that hadoop locations in the hdfs hadoop distributor distributor file system and uh, uh, the main core of the having the hadoop distributor file system means you can able to process the whole data in a lesser executional time when compared to the normal java process so in order to execute the jobs in the hadoop environment it will br bring the efficient and faster results in the less execution time for example in this program will execute in a lesser and uh, execution time like 25 seconds uh, on the 45 MB file is processed in uh, just in 25 seconds compared to a normal Java process it will take more than fi uh, 10 to 15 minutes so uh, in, in this it will just take on uh, 25 seconds to complete next uh, here um, the achieved results can be able to s see in the browser itself just go to the Hadoop location HTTP 192.168.74.128 colon 500.70 then press enter so it will show the submitted jobs um, and, uh, and the input and the output files in the um, here it will show the total <coughs> the live notes one those then give to the user in Hadoop user the input files we have submitted is ss the large data dot txt and the output file here the huge 2 dot txt help of browser and you can be able to see the results also so you can also download this file the Hadoop processed file to conclude this to Hadoop tutorial so we have uh, successfully built the Hadoop environment by means of configuring the customized JVM installation, SIGMIN installation and uh, processing the Hadoop library and uh, we have binded with an Eclipse IDE Europa with the help of MapReduce plugin and at last we have successfully deployed our big data in the pseudo distributed hadoop distribution and uh, uh, future generation is basically uh, f larger depends on the big data processing in which uh, heavy computational jobs are submitted and it will be processed in a lesser execution time for that we have used hadoop for processing the large data in the lesser executional time thanks for watching